This video is kindly being sponsored by Skillshare and I'll talk more about that a bit later on in the video. You're a player, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summertime. <laughs> so today I want to I want to stop yelling for one thing. Let me just calm down. Calm yourself, girl. So today, 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 <laughs> the volume is an issue for me. <laughs> I want to show you that hairstyle. And I've got no idea what to call it because I'm like braids hairstyle. Yes, it's a braids hairstyle, but that doesn't explain anything because there's a million different types of braids. I want to call it the knotless box braids hairstyle, except it's not really not knotless. I always say knotless. It's not really the knotless box. There's a tongue twister. It's not really the knotless box braids hairstyle because that generally implies that you're going to be using extensions. Whereas I see a lot of people doing this hairstyle on their natural hair without extensions. So it doesn't feel right to call it knotless box braids because of course there's not going to be a knot because you're not using any extensions. So why would there be a knot? Do you know what I mean? So I've got no idea what to call this hairstyle. I'm going to stop rambling. Sorry. I want to show you that hairstyle with tips and tricks to make it look good. I have got, this is a twist and braid cream from Flora and Curl. First of all, it's going to lock in the braid. And then if you decide you want to wear the braid out, which I do, it's going to lock in the pattern. So you're going to have the nice waves, the curls, and it's going to look smooth and it's going to be nice. So I'm going to use this. And then I'm also going to use the styling cream gel at the tops of my hairs to lock all of my hairs in at the base of the braid. This is the Curl Company brand. I have a line with the Curl Company, by the way. I feel like people get confused, but I am an ambassador for Flora and Curl. I'm also an ambassador for the Curl Company. They're two great brands that I love using. I use them all the time. And at the moment with the Curl Company, I actually have my own product bundle it's on the website you guys can check it out i'll link it down below and i have some edge control by tgim it's black owned and then i have a detangling brush i have a pintail comb now oh, this is the pointy end so that i can do all the partings and stuff i have a water bottle and if you feel like i'm rushing that's kind of because i am i don't know if you've noticed that lately i haven't really been using a ring light or any kind of lights because i'm in my new house and we have all these big bright windows but it's at the moment it's 10 past 7 in the evening and we might lose light if I don't get this done quick enough. So let's go. So I'm gonna take my hair down. <sighs> Hello. Hey. <laughs> um, I feel like the thing that's gonna take the longest is maybe the detangling. It's a good idea to detangle first, otherwise you're gonna have a tough time doing this. You're gonna have a tough time parting your hair if you don't detangle it. So I do everything loosely with my fingers first, of course. Some of you might be sitting there watching and thinking, why is she showing this? This is so simple. I know how to detangle. But some people don't know how to detangle, so, you know, keep those people in mind. It's gently finding where it wants to separate and I'm just guiding it along. I can almost run my hands through my hair now. So now I'm going to use a brush. I wouldn't have just gone in with the brush right at the start. So I'm just going to spray my hair down. It's just easier to manage when it's not as poofy. This looks good. I kind of want to leave it like this. Can I? No. Now I'm gonna section my hair. So the first section is gonna come like here. I'm gonna take the twist and braid cream, just a little bit like this. This is going right at the root, three, and I'll start braiding. Nothing special, just a regular braid. Finger coil it or do whatever you need to do to get it to do its little thing. So yeah, hopefully I won't need any hair ties for any of these or anything. And let's go and do the rest. So I do try to always make my tutorials videos and hairstyles videos pretty much accessible to everybody because I know that everybody is working with a different skill set and a different experience level and all of that stuff. Like I myself don't know how to do so many hairstyles. I really wanted to film a flat twist hairstyle today, but I don't know how to do it. So I'm really working on brushing up my skills in that department, which actually leads me on to today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands I mean thousands of online classes ranging from arts and crafts like drawing graphic design to yoga and working out and languages like they cover everything over there and you can pick up so many new skills so if you're like me and you're interested in building skills in any area then I've got a surprise for you. Because I am partnered with Skillshare for this video, I am actually able to offer you a gift, which is gonna be one month's 
free premium Skillshare membership if you're within the first thousand people to click the link in the description. So I've personally been using Skillshare lately for my yoga lessons, like what I mentioned in my morning routine, slowly getting better with the help of Skillshare. So if you'd also like to pick up any new skills in any area, then definitely check out that link in my description. All right, let's keep working on this. not forgetting that braiding cream okay so this is the little hack because what I want and what you probably want as well is for it to have a little bit of a rise because when it has a little bit of a rise like it kind of comes up it looks like you've got extensions in and even though the look is knotless so you want it to not look like there's extensions in you also kind of do want it to look like there's extensions in or something you know so you want to give it a little bit of rise like that and not be completely flat like flat to here and then have a little bit of a rise that's how i like it anyway so to get that you're going to want to take the hair under each other instead of over but i'll show you what i mean so this is me going over so i'm going over the middle piece and then i'm going over the middle piece and then over the middle piece and i'll show you how that looks you just keep going over you braid like that it just comes out super flat like that which is actually what I did on the rest of them so like this one so instead of that I'm gonna take this under the middle piece and then this piece right here comes under the middle piece and then under the middle piece it's like how you do the corner and then it comes out with a bump last braid you guys last braid And we're doing the same thing with this one. I can't believe it! I've done all of the braids. It took me way longer than I thought it would. Still happy with how they turned out. I think we're going to wear this hairstyle at least for the next two days. Which is not as long as I would have liked. And then we get down to the ends. Hungry, you guys. I have not had my dinner. I think it's, it must be like 10 o'clock. <gasps> it's quarter past 10. So I'm just gonna bring some hair down to get some edges. Thinking Lori Harvey for these edges, although she has just the cutest baby hairs. So my edges are never in my life ever gonna look like a Lori Harvey's. So I think I'm just gonna leave it there. Okay, so there you have it. That is the hairstyle finally done. I had to switch my clothes quickly because I don't like showing you hairstyles with my black hair on top of a black top. But hopefully you guys can see what we got going on. We got the curly curlies at the ends and we just got the braids popping on top. I like it. I really like this hairstyle. I'm really feeling it a lot. I can understand why Laurie did her Vogue video with this hairstyle. I just really like it. So if you guys like it as well, then please thumbs up the video. Also, maybe consider subscribing to my channel and turning on your notifications, maybe. And also, if you want to brush up on some other skills or maybe learn something new, then don't forget to check out that link in my description for a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership but remember it is only the first thousand people that click the link that will get the free trial so don't miss it head over there right now thanks so much for watching this video guys I really hope you have an amazing day an amazing week an amazing life and I'll see you in the next video bye yeah.